Hi, today we're going to be raiding all the build sets that's currently in the game of LEGO Fortnite and we're going to be taking a look at it. I'm going to make a tier list of everything that you can buy in the item shop or that has been available to buy in the item shop. I bought it all and some of the sets are not worth buying. Some of them are actually quite worth buying. And right now you can get the Salty Seaport sets called the Captains. I think it's called the Captains Battlement inside of LEGO Fortnite. These are all the sets that's currently currently in the game. Everything for Anarchy, Eagles, Beachside, Boulevard, Durburger Restaurant, Fishing Ducks, Imperial and so on. So the Imperial of course is free and I cannot really rate them. The Fishing Ducks is free, I cannot really rate them as well. I think they're great because they're free. The Lock Cabin, I don't want to use those anymore because, but I'm still doing it actually because overly used in the beginning. It's free, it's great. Majestic Manors, it's free, it's great. Pleasant Park, it's free, it's great. Rebel Survival, free, it's great. Same thing with the Shogun and the Starter Shacks. There's many, there's actually a lot of free stuff. This, the Wastelander thing. We should have had a lot more Wastelander things in the Battle Pass. Uh, I would have liked that because I think that they should be adding more Lego stuff in the Battle Pass. Not replacing stuff because then people will get angry, but they should be adding more uh, stuff in the Battle Pass for Lego as well, just on top of the other things. One thing from the Wastelander said, that's just too cheap in my opinion. And then let's go, I think this, the cheapest set is the Anarchy Acres. And I also think that's one of the best sets because it's only 800 V-Bucks and it's such a unique build. It's it's a red and they add so many new, new unique shapes. They have these uh, very cool doors that uh, they can open like this. And I, I do think that this is, is the best value set. I think Lockheed's is about a thousand to uh, 1200 or 800 as well and I think that would be my second favorite thing because that also is quite unique they added the twisted stairs that's right here um, which is super cool you don't get this from anything else and then you get all the rounded walls uh, which is in here and you don't get any of these items and or anything that looks like any of these items in any of the other sets so i also think that is cool and then so that i would say anarchy acres is my number one Lucky's Lighthouse would be my number two. And then no, my number three is my actual favorite set, the Beachside Boulevard. But the reason why I cannot put this on number one is because that it is over 2000 V-Bucks compared to the other one. But Beachside Boulevard is by far the set pieces that I use the most. The white pieces and the blue pieces, I use those all the time. There is, so I put this on the third place but it's my favorite set but it's also expensive then this fourth set i use is the, um, some items from the Durberger set but i think it's quite expensive for the things you use but you do use the black ones a lot because there is these uh, road things here and so i would put that on a fifth place and then Oh, I don't maybe maybe together with most Eisley with the Star Wars set here on a mixed fifth place this most Eisley set is cool because that's a battle pass and it will never come back so for all of you who have unlocked this will never see it in the item shop and you have something unique and cool and it was only a thousand V-Bucks and you got so much for that set and then I think after that we must have the, then we are at the bottom actually, it's the second to last place and the last place. I actually think the salty seaport here if deserves not the last place but the second to last place because it only a thousand and as you people uh, and as you said in the comments before that um, the decor set is quite cool. There's many decors that I'd like to use uh, going forward, uh, like the indoor lighting here. Uh, this light here, I'm going to use this a lot. And there's also other things. The, I don't care for the castle set, but it's only like a thousand uh, V-Bucks in total. But if you don't on, only want some of the decor, you can do it for about uh, 
to 300 i think or f i cannot remember i think it's 300 or 500 uh, v bucks if you don't just pick one some of the decors do i think the whole set is a thousand v bucks worth no not when you compare it that this was a thousand v bucks and this was only 800 v bucks and then we have the bottom of the barrel the worst thing that lego fortnite has ever put out of all of these sets the lion knight's castle it's a scam in my opinion it's 2500 v bucks for something that's almost exactly a copy of three sets to get in the game the only difference is that when you get pay for this immediately when you open up a game you have everything unlocked so if you don't want to like unlock stuff in a new world you get the castle uh, immediately you don't have to be putting down a sand uh, or a, a desert le village level 10 before you unlock all the majestic man manor buildings so i really think the lionized castle is the worst thing they ever put out and that's also why i'm going to stick with the video i made it, the day that they put out that thing uh, they made a i made a video to say do never buy the set this is a statement never buy the lionized castle because we need to tell uh, epic that that was too expensive this was not okay and you just put out the same thing so that was my tier list for all of the builds that's currently available in the game thank you so much for watching and maybe hopefully uh, you will watch this video next because the youtube thinks that that's the perfect one for you to watch